Hey, what's going on, everyone? Kazama Fury here. And let's talk about Resident Evil 2 and data mining. And why would you ask? Why? Hmm. It's because one of my favorite YouTube channels, Avid Expert, who is all about Resident Evil Universe, basically brought up a point which is interesting and it affected the previous Resident Evil release. Yes, the. Uh, you know, the polarizing Resident Evil 7. And this is data mining. For the simple fact that when a demo is released, we got PC aficionados, we got coding geniuses, we got people who is just tech savvy, who can take a sample of a demo because it's a sample of the full game and they can data mine for the stuff that you don't see because there's always a code written for things and you can see what the game has even though you won't be able to play it or access it from that little slivet of the game you're playing it has the data information encoded into its own um, software so Abbott brings up a interesting point that this is probably why the demo hasn't seen the light of day yet because Capcom wants to keep this close to the vest. And if we ever do get a demo, it's gonna probably be very, very close to the initial release. You know, people were saying maybe December, the end of December and, uh, and stuff. We might not get a demo until I would say the beginning of January. You get, you got a three week window. So when all this information starts to come out about what was data mined off for this Resident Evil 2 remake demo? The game is releases impending. You know, leave it to Capcom. That might play even closer. What's a week? Once you got like a a week or two before release, they be like whatever, whatever they find on the game and stuff. The the game is still close to being released, so you never know. If we ever do get a demo, it might be very, very close to the initial release date. But what do you guys think about this whole situation with Capcom possibly holding back on the demo because of data mining and not wanting the game to be spoiled? Because it, I don't think it did too much damage to Resident Evil 7 for the simple fact that it's new and it totally went off of the path of anything story related that we've known because Resident Evil 7 was a new take on it, even though I think the game sucks. But that's just my opinion about that game. But anyway, like, it didn't do us any damage because we knew nothing about Ethan, Mia, or any other characters. The only thing that really came up about the data mine was the name Albert because people were like, oh, God, Wesker's back? But then you find out it was just the name of a gun when you play the full version of the game. So um, let me know in the comment section what you think. Do you really think data mining is why Capcom won't give us the demo? Or is it something else? Because I believe since they say the game is nearly the game is done, they just tweaking. So like as for everything you're going to get into the game get with the game is done already so i would say uh, it's probably because they don't want the pc people to find out what's exactly in the game because they are the ones who can data mine the shit out of it you can't data mine the console version unless you have a developmental kit or something like that so as always keep watching what you want keep gaming the way you want keep being you because i'm a fury I am out. Peace.